How's it going? It's Brian from B's Music Shop, and I'm here with the Drugan Brothers, Johnny and Brian. Yeah. You guys have a drum shop here in Chicago, and you guys are taking over the drum show. You're the new Rob Cook, which I have known Rob for 30 years. Uh, look, it's a lot of work, but yeah, I man. think he, he seems very confident and has said lots of nice things about you guys' ability here, so I really wanted to make sure I got to talk to you. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, you guys are here. What a you know, you guys are here at the drum show. Excited? Super excited. Um, really um, honored to, that Rob is passing the show on to us. So cool. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to do our best to preserve the heritage of the show. It's our favorite time of year. Um, yeah. We look forward to it. And, you know, we it comes and goes so fast that we talk about it for the rest of the year and look forward to next year's, you know. You'll get to think a lot about next year. Yeah. So <laughs> You got this. I wanted to ask you about this. You have this Mick Fleetwood Rumors Tour Kit. Yeah. This is incredible. How did you come across this? How did, how, how, what, how, why? So this amazing set has been owned by a friend of ours since 2006. Yeah. Um, he's he has a, a really cool rock and roll memorabilia collection, yeah. and he's he's a drummer, and um, he um, he's had this in his private collection. It was the set that was used on the entire Rumors tour. Um, it's a very unique set in that it is the only. 18 inch deep by 28 inch bass drum that Ludwig made in the 1970s. Yeah, that thing is massive. Um, it is. It is a three ply shell with three rings, um, and it is uh, quite a quite a, a beast to play. It's I, got. Yeah, I, I, I like how I can just. I, I see that picture. and I'm like, oh yeah, that's. I've seen that picture a lot. Yeah, it's uh, Mick played it with a 12 by 14 um, on his left side, and then a 10 by 14 smaller tom on the right with a factory mounted cowbell on it. And then the huge 18 inch and 20 inch floor toms on there, but as as most people know, Mick was Mick is a is a a big dude. Um, he's he's very tall, very long arms. So he looked. Uh, it, the set did not look big, big when yeah, he's gigantic when he sits behind it. So, so yeah, cool. yeah, very cool. That is. Yeah, that's and I mean rumors. That's like the to me. That's the Fleetwood Mac. I don't, there's so many good airs that band. So as I as I remember it, rumors was the tenth best selling record in the 1970s, and I believe it sold like 60 million copies between 1978 and just before 1980. We sell records at our store in a corner. Uh, we still sell a new copy of Rumors like every other week. Sure. Yeah, it's I believe it. Unbelievable. Yeah, it definitely was uh, the soundtrack to a lot of people's. Um, you know, awesome. It seems awesome like a lot of younger people are, are getting into it. It's like it's trending right now. <laughs> great album. Yeah. yeah, great album. Do you guys want to show us anything else you got here? I'll sure. I'll yeah. you can scoot around and look what yeah. else you got. I like your. Is this a cocktail kit? Yeah, we have a couple awesome 1960s cocktail sets. This beauty is in sky blue pearl. It's in extraordinary condition, and um, a blue sparkle one. They're both uh, six, uh, 16 inch uh, drums. The snare wires underneath, and yeah, really cool. Be great for somebody's uh, living room to do uh, little jam setups and whatnot. They just look really cool. They're super fun. Yeah. They're so such an interesting era of drums. Yeah, for sure. Yep, really neat. I like your. Yeah, I noticed you had some Vista lights over here. Yeah, is a really killer uh, Ludwig Bicentennial Red, White, and Blue Vista light set with twin 24 inch bass drums, 10, 12, 13, 14, with a big 18 inch floor tom. It's in fantastic condition and- uh, Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah, lots of fun. Uh, would definitely be a centerpiece of somebody's collection. Yeah, uh, Vista lights are so fun. There's so many variations. Is that, oh, is that a Vista light kit too? Yeah, it Tivoli. is, it's, and it's a, it's a special one. It's a Tivoli set, which means that, that there's lights in every drum. There's a, a module for it that they plug into and, uh, you turn them on and then all the drums light up. And uh, what's what's extra unique about it is that it's in the smoke uh, the smoke finish. And as most people who are into these know, grand majority of the Tivoli's were uh, tequila sunrise yeah. with the red, amber, and yellow. Um, yeah. So very unique to see it in smoke. Um, yeah, you, I never see them with the lights in them. I've, I mean, I've seen them, but it's rare to see them out for sale. Those are, and there's so many like variations on the colors because they, wouldn't they do like you know you could order a pattern or you could order all the colors, and when you start to do the math, it's like it was an unbelievable amount of options. Yeah, for sure. And uh, most of all these, unfortunately, don't work anymore. So it's neat that this one is all the lights run on, work. Run on a, like plutonium or something. Yes, yeah. yes, for sure. <laughs> the, the flex 
flux capacitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they always like to run on something that gave you cancer back then, I think. But, <laughs> but uh, man, I like your. Is that a Camco kit? Yeah, it's a special one there. Yeah, I'll wheel. I'll wheel out here. This set cool. is. Can you hold that up? The, uh, yeah, probably one of the stars of the of the booth here. This is from Brian and I's personal collection. It's uh, in uh, 18, 12, 14 configuration with the uh, matching snare drum in charcoal moire, which is yeah. a little bit more on the rare side um, as far as finishes. And then uh, the, the cherry on top is this matching charcoal moire uh, bass drum muffler, which oh is kind of neat. Not everybody has seen those before. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful set. Um, Quite rare, and uh, what, what era Camco? So where, where was Camco in this era? I didn't catch the year. This this is the uh, first era of Camco, made in Oak Lawn, oh, Illinois, yeah, yeah. which is about uh, 20 minutes from our shop, and um, they were uh, made in uh, Oak Lawn from 1961 <laughs> until I believe 1971. They moved to Chinook, Kansas for three years, and then they moved to Los Angeles until they ended in the late yeah. 70s. And then DW bought the way to make the lugs or however yep. that went down and yep. uh dw bought the tooling for them and uh tama bought the name and yes. uh some rights to the pedals the yeah yeah yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's so cool i mean yeah and like just that they were made in chicago like everything it's it's amazing how chicago is just drums and drum manufacturing you know? yeah absolutely we had uh slingerland and ludwig here Leedy just across the border in indiana camco over in uh, oak lawn and uh, although Rogers was made in Covington, Ohio, we had uh, a Frank's drum shop in Chicago that a lot of people are familiar with. They're a legendary drum shop where they had a lot of the drum contests, Buddy Rich and Gene Grupa and, and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, and uh, Frank's was uh, one of the largest Rogers dealers. So even though Rogers wasn't made in Chicago, we still see a lot of Rogers as well. Yeah. yeah. I always just love that, like, when you watch the Blues Brothers, is the fake drum. They, when they drive yeah, through the music like, store, yeah. it's the fake drum, drum yes. shop, the fake uh, fake, fake Franks. Franks. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, wasn't it a Tequila Sunrise Ludwig yeah. set that's in there? Where the Blues Brother car yeah. smashes into the... Uh, yes. To the yeah, through the music yeah. store. Yeah. The music it's store, and yeah. yeah the, that's our the uh, favorite movie. Tequila Sunrise so. comes... <laughs> crashing down on the car <laughs> it's such a yeah and then they crash every car in chicago i i have heard and i don't know if this is true that after they filmed that they didn't let anyone film in chicago for like 10 years they were like you no more cop chases were done yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. they they uh they went out with a bang you know <laughs> i think it's like they crashed more cars than any movie for like Maybe still to this day. I, I I have to think that it was more like a joke where they were just like, "This will be funny if we just buy like 400 cop cars and just do this." You know? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, that, that's a classic, funny, fast, funny story. Uh, a, a customer came in and he, as a kid, worked at Frank's. And he showed up to work, and uh, there was a smashed vis light all over the floor, and he was like, "What what's up with this?" And he's like, "Oh, they were filming this movie, and we rent out a bunch of stuff and." Uh, we just got back the pieces and they brought back the blitz lights and they're all broken. So it's really cool to hear that story. I wonder what I wonder what happened to those. It'd be great if you still had them. Yeah, yeah. I they probably trashed them. You know who knows? There'd be some dude here with a bottle of super glue this yeah, big, just going. Yeah, I could no. I could do this. I got this. <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. The worst jigsaw puzzle of all time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you got? You get some cool snares. I like that pink. Is that a pink oyster over there? Yeah. That's cool. Very rare. Can you grab that? You want to grab it and bring sure. it out here? Sorry, I, I hate to send you. I'm um, so. Next year I'll be running around here. Yeah. That so, is cool. This is a uh, pre serial Ludwig oh, wow. Keystone badge, super classic snare drum in very rare oyster pink pearl. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, what, what more can you say? I mean, yeah. it's. It's gorgeous. Cool, I love that finish. I just never see yeah. it. It's so it's such an awesome. Finish. Yeah, it's, uh, we don't get it that often, and when when we do, we enjoy having it in the shop. I imagine you guys being in Chicago, you just got to find the coolest. Like you know, we always get stuff traded in, and you know, it's just there's probably some cool stuff still in closets around here. You know, yeah. we're we're fortunate. It's a great place to be for people that are into vintage drums. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm excited to see you guys do the show this next year. I'm I'm uh, you know, I've been coming to the show 22 years or yeah. something, so it's I'm happy to see that it's still going. It's in good hands. There's yeah. some people with some enthusiasm for the drums and the market and you know, want to keep this kind of family yeah. reunion going. So, yeah. uh awesome. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to me. Thanks Thank so you. Much. Yeah.